Hi everyone and welcome back to another holiday card making video. Today I will be working with a lovely stamp set that is packed with snowflakes. This is a new stamp set by my favorite things and I'm going to do some embossing. I used my embossing bag all over the cardstock. This is going to ensure that there is no static electricity and the embossing powder is going to stick only on the stamped images. So I'm going to lay uh, some of the snowflakes on top and start stamping everything with my embossing ink. Now in terms of positioning the snowflakes, I picked the larger one from the set and I stamped that at the center of my card. So this is going to provide a space where I will stick the sentiment later on. Now all around that bigger uh, snowflake, I'm going to stamp smaller ones to embellish the rest of the background. Now the embossing ink doesn't dry quickly, which means that I have enough time to play around with my snowflakes, decide where everything is going to go, and I don't have to do that stamping in a hurry. Even if that process takes me about 10 minutes, you will find out that uh, the embossing powder is going to still stick on the ink, which is something that I absolutely love about this uh, embossing technique. So now here I picked the smallest of the snowflakes and I'm using just a stamping block and I'm going to fill in the gaps in between the larger snowflakes. I used the bright white embossing powder by WOW and now I'm going to use my heat gun and melt everything. By the way, the cardstock that I'm using here is by Nina and it is the Desert Storm. I absolutely love this craft color and I think that white with this craft and a touch of uh, red that I will add at the end really gives you a very elegant and beautiful combination. Now I'm going to do some inking and I'm using white ink here. Also I'm using a stiff brush but any brush or branding tool will do work for this technique. I'm just bringing in some white from the edges towards the center. This is going to create kind of a frame all around and it's going to give a really soft and elegant look. I absolutely love the result. The ink pad that I'm using here is the white premium pigment ink by Simon Says Stamp. Being a pigment ink, it means that uh, it's going to take it some time to dry. So make sure that you don't touch it with your fingers to avoid any smudges. For my sentiment, I cut out the word joy and this comes from uh, this die set by my favorite things. This is from the October release and I am also going to combine it with one of the sentiments from the Bitty Holiday Wishes stamp set again from the October release. Now I have cut out the word joy by using white cardstock as well as red cardstock. I'm going to stick everything together one on top of the other with the red being at the top. This is going to give uh, the look of a chipboard element on my sentiment. Now I'm using white glue at the back of my sentiment. I'm going to stick it on my card. And I like how I have the biggest of the snowflakes at the center, where I'm going to lay my word on top. I think it is really pleasing to the eye. Now for the rest of the sentiment, I have some uh, foam squares at the back. So this adds some dimension on my card. And I have here a four and a quarter by five and a half pre-folded card. I'm going to stick the panel on top. And you will see that my panel is slightly smaller than the standard card. So I end up having a white border, which is a frame that I always like to have. I think it gives elegance and a finished look on my cards. Now you can leave this card as it is. It looks gorgeous, but I decided to add some blink on it since this is a card for holidays. And I will use these gold crystals by Studio Katia at every one of the centers of the snowflakes. There are different sizes in this pack. So for the bigger ones, the bigger snowflakes, I'm going to pick the larger of the gems. While for the smaller ones, I'm going to use the teeny tiny ones. I have already added some dots of glue with my Nouveau Deluxe glue at the center of the snowflakes. And you can see here a finished look on my card. And this card would look beautiful with uh, silver gems or even crystal clear ones. So that was the project for today. You will find everything I used linked down below in the description area. I hope that you had fun, that you got inspired. Don't forget to leave me a comment, like and subscribe if you haven't done so already. And I'll see you all next time.